They are the faces of viable airlines around the world. From the moment you arrive at the aircraft's door to the time that you arrive at your destination, hard-working individuals are concerned about your onboard safety and comfort. It's not the easiest of jobs, but their people skills come in handy. The airline sees the cabin crew as the only means, or one of the most important means that um, guests get to release with the airline, understand what the airline wants to do, the vision, the mission, and all of that. So first impression really matters. Most times these people have first time contact with us. And taking a look at me, you'd want to see um, a well-dressed, well-groomed, beautiful, um, personality that can relay all of the mission and vision of the company. Um, yes, of course, I'm sure you'd love to um, um, get off work at some time and um, find yourself in a, um, a five-star hotel and have all the treats and even get allowances for that. <laughs> um, you get to have extra um, giveaways just because your cabin crew and the company wants you to look so beautiful and smell so good, look so good and all of that. Yes, it is glamorous. In the aviation industry, everything comes around service. You're relating with people, you're, you're introducing your products to customers. So basically you're having a whole lot of customer uh, relations going around. So the transition wasn't a big deal. I would say um, due to the trainings I've had in the years before now, it has helped me grow into the cabin crew job and the blend was easy, I would say. Well, when I'm on board and I'm working, welcoming passengers, passengers, I welcome them with smile and I check their boarding pass, take them to their appropriate seats and sometimes we serve them water or juice just to get them relaxed before the flight. Our training here teaches us to be well disciplined and patient. Like no matter how unruly a passenger might be towards you, you just have to keep smiling and be patient with them. They are the picture perfect air hosts and hostesses and most cannot imagine doing anything else. They describe their typical day as tasking. That would be when I first, my familiarization flight, that was my first entry into the aircraft actually. And then mid-flight I was observing, like, you, know, you have to observe first, get familiar with the crew, how everything works in the aircraft. You know, training in class is quite different from being in the aircraft. And mid-flight, one of my crew asked me, do you actually want to do the service? Do you want to join us? I'm like, yeah, let me get a hands-on practical. And then the aircraft goes, and at that point, I did realize I was cabin crew. I was really, really scared. I had to take my seat, fasten my seat, but like every other passenger. That's about the scariest moment for me in the aircraft, but you get used to it. When they tell you what turbulence is like in, in the classroom, and you're experiencing turbulence first class, there's a big difference uh, because you're in the weather, the, the nature at its best, uh, like I would say, one time where uh, we, were in, we were on route going to Abuja and we experienced this very serious turbulence where it felt like there was a lightning struck our aircraft and that was, it was amazing. You know we've been trained to experience such things but basically once such things come you're, you're preparing for whatever situations that could possibly happen. Perhaps you'll be meditating on your drills, emergency drills and some other things like that. That is where your professionalism has to come in place. We all have feelings, but when it comes to your job, you, you just have to be the best at it. While they're at it, the overall goal of the cabin crew is to ensure that you get home not only safe, but with a pleasant onboard experience. This is where we call it a day on this edition. Our feedback platforms are always open. I'm Bukola Joe Ketumbi. Thanks for watching.